Learning is pleasurable, but doing is the height of enjoyment by no words. Good morning everyone. In GMS Jakarta, every year grade level exhibitions are organized to motivate, reflect and build our students' self-confidence. We, the teachers and students of 8C, invite you to our annual exhibition of 2022. We are sure you will enjoy watching presentations of our loving students. Hello, my name is Irini from 8C and my topic is nuclear waste and weapons. A nuclear weapon is a device designed to release energy in an explosive manner. They are very dangerous if used. Why use nuclear weapons if they are harmful? The purpose of nuclear weapons became primarily the threat of use with the object of deterrence instead of the actual employment of those weapons to attain victory in combat. Nuclear weapons are very harmful to us and the environment as they can end the lives of millions immediately. A consequence called nuclear winter is the worldwide famine that would also follow. It could cause social and political disruption as it would take many decades to reconstruct infrastructure and redevelop economic activities, trades, and communications. This is a graph and map of countries that consider, pursue, or possess nuclear weapons. The countries that possess and countries that have considered or pursued to make nuclear weapons have gone down from our time. Nuclear weapons produce nuclear waste called transuranic waste. This space is hazardous because it emits radioactive particles, which can be a risk to human health and the environment. Nuclear waste can cause severe health effects to humans and animals because of radiation, and the process of mining uranium releases high amounts of carbon dioxide too. There have been different solutions taken up. The Treaty on the Prohibition of nuclear weapons includes a set of prohibitions on the participation of any nuclear weapon activities. The other solution is to entirely eliminate them from the planet, but this would be difficult to do. The alternative to uranium is thorium, a radioactive ore whose natural decay is responsible for half of our geothermal energy. The most widely favored solution is deep geological disposal. Used fuel can be recycled by the uranium or plutonium it contains, and some could be burned up. And this is a diagram on how nuclear waste should be properly disposed of. With the right policies and safeguards, we can help protect people against mistakes and poor decision making, and can work toward a world free from nuclear threat. Thank you. Hello, my name is Karen from Grade 8C, and my exhibition topic is about pink tax. Pink tax is not an actual tax, but it refers to a discriminatory act where women are charged to pay more for a specific product or services targeted towards them. Every products or services that are both used and participated by both men and women are usually more expensive for women, in which they are colored pink to indicate a different gender, thus the name pink tax. Pink tax can also be seen present in young girls' products and services. Examples of common products that can be seen having pink tax are razors, pain reliever medication, shaving cream, earplugs, healthcare kit, and calculators. Pink tax is not a case of developing countries. It is present in some well developed countries such as Australia, Singapore, Italy, and the UK. Just how much does the pink tax affect women? We can take data from USA. A report by the 2015 New York City Department of Consumer Affairs stated that women pay more than men almost half of the time, just around $1,300 per year. It was also reported that women and girls' products are 8% more expensive than those targeted towards men and boys. There are three main reasons as to why we have pink tax. Production differences. It is still possible that in some cases, Products marketed towards men are more expensive due to the small changes in manufacturing, like dye, required additional materials at a higher rate, or if a product requires different materials and is made at a slightly smaller scale, the cost of these additional materials may be distributed among fewer consumers, increasing the overall prices. Tariff could also be a factor, as tariffs charged on the import of international goods are often higher on women's products. Some manufacturers may have the idea that women are less price sensitive to their products than men. This means that they are more likely to purchase, purchase a product regardless of whether the price is cheap or not. If this is the case, then companies will likely charge more for this product just because they are able to gain higher profit. To avoid pink tax, women can always support companies or organizations who are standing against the pink tax with gender neutral pricing, buying more gender neutral items when shopping, avoid dry cleaners as much as possible, 
Always check the information in products and compare the prices when shopping. Try talking to state representatives, local retailers, or social media about paying tax. Word of mouth is more powerful than you think. Thank you all for watching my presentation. You probably have heard of GMOs before, whether from the constant headlines and controversy surrounding them, or from non-GMO labels on food packaging. But what exactly are GMOs? Are they as harmful as much media and labels make them out to be? Let's find out together. GMO is short for Genetically Modified Organism. They're organisms created through genetic engineering. This process involves finding a gene that will result in a desired trait. Taking the gene from an organism that already has it and adding it to another organism. GMO technology has the potential to solve many global issues. Climate change and global warming have caused unreliable rainfall and extreme weather conditions. These weather conditions greatly impact farmers and their ability to grow crops. This problem may be solved through the use of GMO technology. Crops can be genetically engineered to adapt to the changing climate and weather conditions. Crops made using GMO technology can also help solve the problem of malnourishment and nutrient deficiency. Crops can be genetically engineered to contain nutrients that they wouldn't normally have or be modified to produce larger yields for less resources. A real-life example of this would come in the form of golden rice. Golden rice is a crop that is genetically engineered to contain vitamin A in order to combat the issue of vitamin A deficiency. However, GMO technology has also sparked much controversy. Many have voiced out their concerns over if GMOs are truly safe for consumption. Some argue that the modification of genes is a riskier method of developing desired traits as compared to the traditional method of selective breeding. This is because modified genes have also been known to cause some unwanted side effects, like allergies. For this reason, GMOs are heavily regulated by governments in order to ensure that only safe products reach consumers. So you don't have to worry too much the next time you step foot in a grocery store. New innovations come with new benefits and risks. But as more research is done and more challenges and safety concerns are overcome, these new innovations will help pave the way towards a better future for our society. Hi, my name is Cedric from 8C. Today, I will be discussing about global warming. Global warming is the change in climate temperature and weather patterns. The main cause of global warming are greenhouse gases, which trap the sun's heat, burning fossil fuels, and de deforestation are also the causes. Since cars, ships, and planes use fossil fuels to operate, transportation also causes global warming as they emit greenhouse gases. I'll now be discussing about the impacts of global warming. Sea levels continue to rise due to temperature. Water expands when it heats up, and the ice melting on land will slip to the sea, increasing its volume. Predictions say that with an increase of 1.5 and 4.5 degrees Celsius, it could potentially cause the sea level to rise from 15 to 95 centimeter. If the rise doesn't go the way it was predicted, low-lying states such as Bangladesh, the Maldives, and the Netherlands will lose some land areas. Oceans get more acidic when they absorb carbon dioxide. They will be more acidic by 0.1 pH since they absorb carbon from anthropogenic activities, which may affect marine organisms. Methane inside soils will be released by the melting of permafrost. Permafrost in Alaska, Russia, and Canada are melting which forces houses built on it to shift as it tolls. Polar species could end up becoming extinct all of a sudden in the wild. Wildfires are more likely to burn and wipe out other species or animal habitats when drought increases. Heat waves have caused a lot of death in Europe in 2006, and this number may increase. Less cold winters may cause insect disease vectors to spread into many regions as it means they wouldn't get killed during these times. Malaria, yellow fever, and dengue fever will spread to the higher latitudes. I figured there are two ways to reduce global warming. Reducing energy consumption by improving fuel economy and efficiency of energy production. Reducing the demand of electricity could also reduce global warming. The second way is to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by reacting carbon dioxide with metal oxides using high temperatures and huge amount of energy. Thank you. Hello guys, my name is Daniel Gunawan and I'm from Great HC. 
My topic for today's exhibition is Sewage Water Treatment Technology for Solving Water Pollution. Global warming problems causes water crisis globally. Global warming problems are serious problems nowadays that destroy our Mother Earth and have a direct and serious effect for human life, especially when it causes shortage of clean water in the world. As we all know that water is very important for the life of any creatures in the world. Not enough water, we get sick easily, and without water, we all die. With the increasing human population, then demand for fresh water increases too. Increased human population plus increased water pollution equal water crisis. Problem of untreated sewage water causes water pollution. Thus, untreated sewage is the leading polluter of water sources, as it also contains agriculture contamination that causes environmental degradation. Therefore, it is very important to treat sewage before disposing it off in a waterway or water cycle as it can cause harm to human and aquatic life. So we need wastewater treatment technology for treating sewage water. Water treatment technology. Everyone, my name is Dea from class 8C and I'm going to be presenting my exhibition work, The Consequences of Air and Water Pollution. My research question is, how are we humans living with these consequences and how do we solve them? Pollution. Pollution is the introduction of harmful materials into the environment. These harmful materials are also called pollutants. Pollutants can be natural, such as volcanic ash. They can also be created by humanly activity, such as trash or runoff produced by factories. Pollutants damage the quality of air, water, and land. Water pollution. Water pollution is the addition of unwanted substances in water, which makes water harmful for living beings and non-living things. Consequences of water pollution are lack of potable water, diseases, acid rain, industrial waste, the waste from households and factory, which is called wastewater. 80% of the world's wastewater is dumped largely untreated back into the environment, polluting rivers, lakes, and oceans. Unsafe water kills more people each year than war and all other forms of violence combined. Air pollution. Air pollution is caused by solid and liquid particles and certain gases that are suspended in the air. These particles and gases can come from cars, trucks, exhaust, factories, dust, pollen, volcanoes, and wildfires. Some causes of air pollution are the burning of fossil fuels, industrial emission, indoor air pollution, wildfires, and transportation, open burning of garbage waste, etc. Effects of water pollution are long-term health. Affecting from air pollution includes heart disease, lung cancer, and respiratory diseases, such as emphysema. Air pollution can also cause long-term damage to people's nerves, brain, kidneys, livers, and other organs, and some scientists suspect air pollution causes birth defects. So, solution to reduce water pollution are to reduce and safely treat wastewater so that as well as not polluting, it can reduce from air irrigant and energy production. Restrict the use of single-use plastic that end up floating in rivers, lakes, and ocean, many as microplastics. Solution to re reduce air pollution are using public transports, turning off the lights when not in use, recycle and reuse, not to use plastic bags, reduction of forest fires and smoking, use fans instead of air conditioner, and use filters for chimneys. If we all work together and make a difference at least once, we all will be living a sustainable life. Thank you so much for listening. Hello everyone, I'm Angeline Susanna from HC, and my SOI is how do we humans affect life on land? Well, to answer this question, I'll be giving an insightful presentation. We are affecting our environment by living our normal lifestyles, but what we don't see is the impact it gives towards the life on land. 
We humans have directly altered at least 70% of our Earth's land, mainly for growing plants and keeping animals. Activities like this make the rates of deforestation, the degradation of land, loss of biodiversity and pollution higher. They have the biggest impacts on land and freshwater ecosystems. Our environments are lost due to changes in land and sea use, exploitation, climate change, pollution, and the introduction of hostile species. Some things have a direct impact on nature, like the dumping of waste into the ocean, but other causes are indirect. Those include demographic, economic, and political arrangements underpinned by social values. This would have a negative impact on widespread ecosystems and societies. We affect our environments in many ways, like overpollution, deforestation, and burning fossil fuels. Pollution. Pollution enters the Earth's atmosphere in many different ways. Most air pollution is created by people taking the form of emissions from factories and cars. These man-made sources of pollution are called anthropogenetic sources. Animals, plants, and an entire ecosystem can suffer effects from air pollution. Haze is a visible type of air pollution that conceals shapes and colors. Air pollution can directly contaminate the surface of bodies of water and soil. This can kill crops or reduce their yield. It can kill young trees and other plants. Land pollution is when we affect any type of soil. The three main causes are deforestation, industrial waste, and urbanization. Our generation is evolving every day, which means we need more space to urbanize. That's when people choose to deforest. Most deforestation means more pollution and more industrial waste. What they don't realize is that by becoming more advanced, we're just increasing the levels of danger for the future generations. Deforestation. Deforestation is the bad side of urbanization. There are two separate kinds of deforestation, clear cutting and selective logging. Clear cutting occurs when most or all of an entire area is taken down, while in selective logging, loggers only cut down the trees that are of use to them. A wildfire is an uncontrollable fire that burns in the wildland vegetation. Wildfires can burn in forests, grasslands, savannas, and in other ecosystems, and have been doing so for hundreds of millions of years. Nearly 85% of wildland fires in the United States are caused by humans. Human-caused fires result from campfires left unattended, the burning of debris, equipment use and malfunctions, carelessly discarded cigarettes, the intentional acts of arson. Wildfires threaten lives directly, and wildfire smoke can affect us all, causing breathing difficulties in even healthy individuals. Not to mention children, older adults, and those with heart disease, diabetes, asthma, COPD, and other lung disease. Burning fossil fuels. The world relies on burning fossil fuels to create the majority of its energy. Due to the presence of hydrocarbons, fossil fuels produce a significant amount of energy per pound when combusted. Hydrocarbon-rich fossil fuels hold a large amount of energy potential that is released in the form of heat when combusted in the presence of oxygen. However, these hydrocarbons also produce large amounts of carbon dioxide, which contributes to the greenhouse effect and in turn causes global warming. The primary issue associated with burning fossil fuels is that the practice releases high quantities of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. High concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere increases the global temperature and cause rapid climate change. This is the state of our Earth's land. As you can see, more than half of our land is covered by residences, factories, workspaces, and schools. What can we do to help, you may ask? Well, we should bike more and drive less, reduce, reuse, and recycle, choose sustainable food, and make smart choices, plant a tree every year in our birthdays. We should educate people about this situation. We should conserve water, and we should volunteer whenever we can so we can help our Earth. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it by Robert Swan. And with that quote, I end my presentation. Thank you for listening. Good morning, and my name is Aditya. Today, I will be talking about lack of education for my exhibition topic. Lack of education. Today, education remains as an inaccessible right for millions of children around the world. More than 72 million children of primary education age are not in school, and 759 million adults are illiterate and do not have the awareness necessary to improve both their lives living conditions, and those of their children. Causes of lack of education, marginalization, and poverty. For many children who still do not have access to education, it is notable because of persisting inequality and marginalization. In, de in developing and developed countries alike, children do not have access to basic education because of inequalities that originate in gender, health, and cultural identity, ethnic origin, language, re religion, these children find themselves on the margins of the education system and do not benefit from learning that is vital to their intellectual and social development. Financial deficit of developing countries. Universal primary education is a major issue and a sizable problem for many states. Many emerging countries do not appropriate the financial resources necessary to create schools provide schooling material or recruit and train teachers, overview of rights to education worldwide. 
most affected regions. As a result of poverty and marginalization, more than 72 million children around the world remain unschooled. Inequality between girls and boys, the education of girls in jeopardy. Today, it is girls who have the least access to education and make up more than 54% of non-school population in the world. This problem, this problem occurs most frequently in Arab states, in Central Asia, and in Southern and Western Asia, and is principally explained by the culture and traditional privilege treatments given to males. Girls are destined to work in family homes, whereas boys are entitled to receive an education. Hello, my name is Francis, and this is my presentation on globalization and its impact on the environment. So what is globalization? Well, in simple terms, it is basically the gradual increase in the number of interactions of people from different cultures and countries in factors like economic, technological, and social, etc. These are some of the examples of the types of globalization. And as you can see, it's involved with everything around. Economic globalization is obviously the increase in economy and trade around the world. Cultural globalization is, you know, the increase of human interaction from different cultures and countries, and obviously technological, it's like social media, Instagram, Facebook. Globalization helped the world economy increase and countries more powerful as the communication and interactions between nations increased. And obviously as more people interact with each other, it also has had an impact on our culture and finance, like I said. But of course, with the spread of humans around the globe, also comes the environmental effects of transport, fossil fuels, and more waste. Emissions from transports like cars and planes, habitat destruction from deforestation, and invasive species stored away on boats are all partly because of the rapid increase in globalization. And with all the human activity around the world, biodiversity and ecosystems around the world has decreased heavily. So in conclusion, Globalization is very important for us humans and for our countries to survive, but it also takes a huge stroll, a stroll on nature and Mother Earth because of the increase in human interactions around the world that is slowly damaging, damaging our planet. This is my bibliography. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for watching this presentation. Hi everyone, today I will be talking on the problems of today's education system and a new curriculum as a solution to the current system. Education has become an extremely important matter of resolution now that governments all around the world are putting it as the top priority to solve as soon as possible. Now, these are the causes and problems of the current system. Without further ado, let us see how to solve these problems with a new curriculum which I believe to be ideal for efficient teaching. First, education should be able to prepare us for two things, to work efficiently while sustaining good relationships. So for this curriculum, I will be introducing three new subjects, capitalism, learning about yourself, and relationships. So let us dive into the first subject of capitalism. A lot of things in the world revolve around money. Capitalism helps students to learn how to deal with money from a young age. The following are some topics which I encourage to be carried out in classes to promote capitalism. Now, learning about yourself. It is vital for us to know why we do or act something. Students will learn how complex their bodies and mind work. The following topics are encouraged to be taught in classes for self-knowledge. Now, relationships. Humans are known to be social individuals. Therefore, forming good relationships take a big role in life. These are some of the ideologies which can be practiced during class to learn to form better relationships. Now, what are the outcomes of practicing this in class? By adding this into the school curriculum, students are taught on how to form good relationships with each other in order to learn how to live better together. So, after introducing the three new subjects, one question might come in your mind. What do the students get from this? Well, everything actually. Being able to earn money, 
working and understanding what's for them to improve and doing all that while sustaining great relationships with their families, friends, peers, and partners are all they need to live and survive in the real world. Thank you. Alternatives to Metals by Girl Vijaya 8C. What are metals? Metals, the definition of metal is any uh, element with a positive electrical charge, typically with a shiny surface and a good conductor of heat. Most of the, um, most of the metals are found in the Earth's crust, like aluminum, iron, calcium, and etc. Many metals are found in ores, but few, such as copper, gold, platinum, silver, frequently occur in the free state because they do not readily react with other elements. What is the problem with using metals? By now, we all know around us there is more than millions and millions, even billions of tons of metal to support buildings in our technology, furniture, and electricals. We use metal so much that mines around the world are running out of metal day by day. And one or the other day, we will not have metals at all to make things needed for living. We need to reduce on our use of metals before we run out. It's better to be late than sorry, they say. Alternatives to metals, reducing and recycling. We should reduce the amount of metal we use and use other materials which are renewable so that we can save metals. We should recycle like, like if you're throwing away some metallic utensils because they are broken or damaged, then we can get them recycled instead of buying new ones. Like this, we are using that damaged utensil again without using any new uh, materials or metal. Fiber reinforced plastic. We can use some different materials instead of metals. It is said someone's trash is someone else's treasure. We can use fiber reinforced plastic instead of metals where we don't need high thermal and electric conductivity. Fiber reinforced plastic is a lightweight material alternative to metal and is mainly made from plastic. We can use plastic from oceans and seas to make the fiber reinforced plastic since it is just made stronger by modification. This material was used in the famously known Mars Orbiter mission Mongolian, which was sent to Mars, making the orbiter was very cheap since it was made just by waste plastic, which has basically no value. By doing this, they were not only cutting on resources and money, but also saving the earth by using plastic from polluted water bodies. This is a very efficient way of saving metals and one of the most successful one too. Thank you. Consequences. Do you, do you think it's a good idea to make a new capital? If so, do you agree with the Indonesian government to shift the capital to Kalimantan? The background. The Indonesian government, Joko Widodo, has announced the national capital will move from Jakarta on the island of Java to the province of East Kalimantan on Borneo. Kalimantan is, Indonesia, in the, is the Indonesian portion of the island of Borneo, which is also shared by, with Malaysia and Brunei. However, Jakarta will still continue to serve the nation's commercial and financial center. Why is the government deciding to move the capital? When we have humans that will migrate to this part of the island, that means there will be most people coming from Jawa or Jakarta, which is about 60% of Indonesia's population. And this is meant to reduce the burden on Jakarta especially. Another cause of this movement is because Jawa Island lies on the center of a complex tectonic zone, which has many active volcanoes around, and Jakarta has frequent earthquakes. And this disturbs daily routine. The effects of relocating the capital. Earth's lungs are basically in the tropical belt which stretches from Brazil to Africa to Indonesia. When we talk about the lungs, it is the rainforest. They produce a lot of oxygen which come from the forest. So anything that is more within this region will definitely cause an impact on the species and the environment of the surroundings. The logistics that will also happen in the South China Sea is the main commercial belt for logistics. And so a lot of seaports will have to be made and this will impact the marine life on the island or region. Nayak is a very integrated cultural part of Indonesia, which originates from Kalimantan Island. And when we have the capital moving there, it will affect the traditions and cultures which have been maintained for hundreds and thousands of years. 
these indigenous people may, might have a short, a sort of a disturbance with the relocation from the current location. Some solutions. The Indonesian government can work to make all the cities of Indonesia become sustainable with renewable resources, electric powered vehicles, solar and powered use of energy. The government can develop a tertiary sector of work on the other islands so that with the population is more distributed and people will also have a benefit as they there will be segment of earning money. Since Indonesia is a part of UN, they can help to fund the whole mission of density of making the densely populated cities of Java more sustainable. Thank you for your time. Hi, my name is Mother Potari and I'm from HC. And today my topic for the annual grade 8 exhibition is health. So, what is health? Health is a person's mental or physical condition. Here are some body tips for taking care of your body. Eat a healthy, balanced diet with lots of vegetables and fruits. Keep your immunizations up to date. Don't use tobacco, weight products, alcohol, or drugs. Exercise as often as you can. Stay aware of your emotions and mood. Get enough sleep. Wear proper protection at home, work, or play. See your healthcare provider if you think something may be wrong. The most important things people need to do every day. Exercise. The benefits of a regular exercise routine extend far beyond meeting weight loss goals. Sleep. Eat healthfully. Drink water. Enjoy leisure time. Know your own risk factors and be proactive with your health. Food we should eat to be healthy. Plenty of colorful vegetables, legumes, beans, fruits, grain, like cereal, foods, mostly whole grain and high fiber varieties, clean meats and poultry, fish, eggs, tofu, nuts, and seeds, milk, yogurt, cheese, or their alternatives, mostly reduced fats. Drink plenty of water. This is my bibliography for the work. Thank you. Hello, dear teachers, parents, and friends. Today, I will present you my presentation. My topic will be about global warming. Why did I pick the topic global warming? I picked the topic of global warming because I want to show people how bad global warming is affecting the earth and how to prevent global warming to make the earth a better place. How to regulate air pollution around my neighbors. With the help of NAFAS app, I can tell my neighbors what days are good or to go out or not good days to go out of your house. The app actually tells you what to do, like do not go out or do not open windows or not running outside during bad pollution days. Weather in my area in three days. How did I get the data of my weather in three days? I got my data by the app named NAFAS. NAFAS is an app that can actually tell you when the weather is bad or good so that you can be safe at all times. This is the cause of global warming. These are the other causes of global warming. What is climate change? This, this is the highest greenhouse gas in 2 million years according to the internet. What is the main impact of climate change? More frequent and intense drought storms, heat waves, rising sea levels, melting glaciers, and warming oceans can directly harm animals, destroy the place they live in, and wreak havoc on people's livelihoods and communities. As climate change worsens, dangerous weather events are becoming more frequent or severe. What is cl a climate change impact on the earth? What does global warming have to do with such weather 
like storms, heat waves, droughts, and hurricanes. How can you stop global warming according to Google Chrome? Thank you for listening to my presentation on how to stop global warming. Today, the analysis of big data is a common occurrence, with consumer profiling, personalized services, and predictive analysis being used for marketing, advertising, and management. These techniques can be applied to gain real-time insights into people's well-being and to target aid intervention to vulnerable groups. As per my topic, I have made an app to show an example on how big data could help reach zero hunger. This app is a charity app that can help minimize food waste and allow people to fight hunger through their donation. On the homepage, by clicking the button, for example, the very top option will allow people to donate meals to families in need. A short description will be given to inform the users on what they are contributing to and how they are helping the cause. Clicking the button below, the images will direct the users to a new screen which will allow to them to start fill in the information. In this case, it will be the amount of donating funds for the meal. The cost of the meal will sh be shown and the user can choose a certain amount of meal using the keypad and will calculate the total cost and show below. The user can also change the payment methods. On the about page, users will be able to learn about how their donations are used and what impact it has made and more about things regarding the app. On the contact page, users will be able to contribute and be more active regarding the situation such as gathering with communities, contacting food banks, and collaborating for food drives or other donation activities with having the goal zero hunger in mind. The options will be given in a list which the places were found by using GPS to find the nearest place. Clicking on learn more will direct the users to the official site of their chosen organization. On the testing page will be general things an app would have. Hi, my name is Mishka and today I'll be presenting my exhibition with the topic unequal vaccine distribution. Firstly, what is vaccine distribution? Vaccine distribution is the process of shipping vaccines to provider locations as directed by government officials and pharmacy partners. The main reason vaccines are unevenly distributed are economic classes. Low-income countries such as ones in Africa do not have funds to buy vaccines, whilst middle and high-income countries have the ability to. The economic classes within the country can also lead to unequal vaccine distribution as seen on the graph alongside. The risks of infection have increased in all countries for people who are not yet protected by vaccination. The following graph shows the majority of African countries have lower vaccination rates. Another reason that this occurs is that majority of African countries are underdeveloped, making it harder to prioritize healthcare. I have decided to compare Chad and Israel as they have the greatest difference in vaccine rates. Based on the information, we can see that Israel has about half the population fully vaccinated, while Chad barely has quarter of the population fully vaccinated. So we can say that Israel has a higher vaccination rate as opposed to Chad. The World Health Organization has provided a solution to achieve vaccine equity, in which countries and suppliers make contracts putting vaccine delivery and donated doses first for African countries. The governments of these countries have taken more action to prioritizing vaccines. They can't really do much because they financially lack. What can we do as a society? We can bring more awareness about this topic so we can be informed and support for a rightful cause, spread factual information and find possible solutions, and we can also bring more light to organizations such as the African Vaccine Acquisition Trust. This is my brochure. Throughout this exhibition, I have obtained the ID learner profiles of inquirer and thinker. I had to form various research questions to find desired information, and I had to critically think about the various solutions that could be formed. These are the sources used to create this presentation. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mohsan Skidi Putra. Today, my exhibition topic is climate change. 
What is climate change? Climate change refers to long-term shifts in temperature and weather patterns. The shifts may be natural, such as through variations in the solar cycle. But since the 18th, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas. Burning fossil fuels generates greenhouse gas emissions that act like a blanket wrap around the Earth, trapping the sun's heat and raising temperatures. What's the cause of climate change? Generating power, manufacturing goods, cutting down forests, using transportation, producing food, powering buildings, and pollution. What's the effects of climate change? Hotter temperatures, more surf storms, increased drought, war warming rising ocean, loss of species, not and not enough food, more health risks, and poverty and displacement. How can we stop climate change? Save energy at home, reduce, reuse, repair, and recycle, and use less vehicles. Causes of climate change of, on cutting down forests. Cutting down forests to create farms or pastures or for other reasons causes emissions. Since trees, when they are cut, release the carbon they have been storing since forests absorb carbon dioxide. Destroying them also li limits nature's abilities to keep emissions out of the atmosphere. <clears throat> Effects of climate change on hotter temperatures. Nearly all land areas are seeing more hot days and heat waves. 2020 was one of the hottest years on record. Higher temperature increase heat-related illness and can make it more difficult to work and move around. Will the fires start more easily and spread more rapidly when conditions are hotter? That's my top exception topic. Thank you. Water pollution by Nabil Grade 8C. What is water pollution? Water pollution occurs when harmful substances, often chemicals or microorganisms, contaminate a stream, river, lake, ocean, aquifer, or other body of water, degrading water quality and rendering it toxic to humans or the environment. What is the causes of water pollution? Key causes of pollution include spills or leaks from oil and chemical containers, straight effluent going into surface water drains instead of full water drains, or straight into water courses, removing too much water from surface waters and groundwater. What are the effects of water pollution? Harm to any of these organisms can create a chain effect, imperiling entire aquatic environments. When water pollution causes an algal bloom in a lake or marine environment, the proliferation of newly introduced nutrients stimulates plants and algae growth, which in turn redu reduces oxygen levels in the water. How can we reduce water pollution? Pick up litter and throw it away in a garbage can. Blow or sweep fertilizers back onto the grass if it gets onto paved areas. Don't put fertilizers on the grass right before it rains. The chemicals will wash into storm drains and waterways. Mulch or compost grass or yard waste, or leave it in your yard if you can't compost. Don't blow leaves into the street. This clogs and damages storm drains. Wash your car or outdoor equipment where it can flow to a gravel or grassy area instead of a street. Don't pour your motor oil down storm drain. Never clean up a spill by hosting it into a storm drain. Place kitty litter, sand, or another absorbance on the spill. Once the liquid becomes solid, sweep it away and throw it in a garbage can. What are the types of technology used to prevent water pollution? A number of methods such as congulation, membrane process, absorption, dialysis, foam flotation, osmosis, photocatalytic degradation, and biological methods have been used for the removal of toxic pollutants from water and moist water. This is my exhibition. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, I am Roli. And today I'm going to talk about career options in the new age. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life by Confucius. As we're moving towards grade nine, the biggest decision that we will have to make is choosing a stream. The purpose of choosing a subject is to help us pursue our wanted job in the future. Growing up comes with a lot of unwarranted stress. You're out of your college and step onto an uncharted path, whereas schedules don't come as timetables, and there are no exams but only life. 
Peer pressure, parental expectations, self-esteem are some of the chinks in one's armor that grow out of proportion in one of the most overrated decades of your life. Ask yourself these questions before choosing a stream after middle school. Does math come to you naturally? Or is it world history and geography that fascinates you more? Are you more towards art? Or do you feel you're good at languages? Does physics feel more comfortable to you? Or the planets and stars fascinate you? Know your interest areas. Pick subjects that you love. Research a bit on the streams available, subjects to study, and career options. Narrow down to what suits you best. Talk to a career counselor friends, parents, teachers, and seniors, or even take a test. Technology has not only become more powerful, but also tangible. So much so that the debate around automation in the workplace has, has staggeringly regained prominence in the past few months. The workforce is automating faster than expected, displacing 85 million jobs in the next five years. The robot revolution will create 97 million new jobs. As the economy and job markets evolve, new roles will emerge across the care economy in technology fields, such as artificial intelligence, and in content creation careers, such as social media management and content writing. In 2025, analytical thinking, creativity, and flexibility will be among the most sought after skills the most competitive businesses will focus on upgrading their worker skills. Remote work is here to stay. Some 84% of employers are set to rapidly digitalize work processes, including a significant expansion of remote working. A Greek philosopher once said that change is the only constant, and his word applies to career options as well. The world of jobs and careers changes with every decade, and we find some new career options waiting for the young talent to embrace them. Thank you. Hi, this is Shai Samhita from HC. Today, I'm going to talk about gender inequality in women. To ensure central idea, to ensure that women get equal rights and opportunities. These are the research questions. This logo represents equality in gender. Types of discrimination of women in different continents, Indonesia, India, USA, and Australia. Discrimination of women in Indonesia. Rights in employment, rights in healthcare, equal rights in education, rights in marriage and family, rights in public and political life, physical abuse, rights of ownership, Dress codes to discriminate women against dress codes to discriminate women. This is a graph of how many girls discriminated each year in Indonesia. Discrimination of women in India. Discri gender discrimination in education, gender discrimination in employment, poverty, politics, lack of awareness, discrimination in religion and caste. This is the graph of uh, how many girls discriminated each year in India. Now let's see the suspicious beliefs and practices that are followed in India. Sati, Sati or Suti was a practice that was followed in early 1800s. This was a practice by which a widow sacrifices herself by sitting atop her deceased husband's funeral pile. This practice has not been followed in nowadays in India. This was already been abolished by the social reformers. Discrimination of women in USA. Racism, discrimination by nat nationality, gender, discrimination against women at work, maternity discrimination, discrimination by age, discrimination due to disability or illness, discrimination in the workplace. This is a graph of how many girls discriminated each year in US. Discrimination of women in Australia, discrimination in relationship status, discrimination in renting or buying a house, discrimination in employment, discrimination in education, discrimination in marital status. 
This is a graph of how many girls discriminated each year in Australia. This is, these are the links that I use for research. Thank you. Plant-based diet for a better environment. Statement of inquiry. Human actions have drastic effects on the environment. Eating a plant-based diet helps for a better environment. Global context. Globalization and sustainability, fairness, and development. Is a plant-based or vegetarian diet actually good? Here's some info. Some benefits of a plant-based diet. A plant-based diet can have a significant positive impact on the environment and your health. Thank you. Hello, my name is Wesley Isaac Pansuik Hardy. Today I will be presenting my exhibition topic for today, water pollution. Water pollution is a very dangerous threat to today's world. But what exactly is water pollution? Water pollution occurs when chemicals contaminate water source, rendering the water unfit for drinking, cooking, cleaning, swimming, and other activities. Chemical Waste, bacteria, and parasites are examples of pollutants. All types of pollutants eventually end up in the water. The cause of water pollution. The cause of water pollution is the dumping of contaminated water from factories, farms, cities, and cities, which combine with the river and the ocean. Effects of water pollution to on humans. When the contaminated water is dumped into rivers and oceans, humans that drink this water may become ill as the contaminated water is filled with bacteria and viruses like cholera, typhoid, and gyrida. Effects of water pollution towards the environment. When the contaminated water enters the ocean or lake, the algae gets nutrients and grow rapidly, reducing the oxygen and killing the aquatic ecosystem. This process is called eutrophication. The plastic waste that is also dumped to the ocean can strangle, smother, and harm aquatic life and has harmed over 200 different species of How do we prevent water pollution? Now we all know the danger of water pollution. But what can we do to prevent this danger? There are ways to prevent water pollution, like reducing your plastic consumption and reuse re or recycle plastic when you can. Conserve water by turning on taps when running water is not necessary. This helps prevent water shortage and reduce the amount of contaminated water that needs treatment, pro pro properly dispose of chemical cleaners, oil, and non-biodegradable items to keep them from going down the drain. Volunteer in cleanup at the beach and in your community. This is the bibliography. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hi, my name is Yuhon Park. And my exhibition subject is about child labor. Child labor can be defined as the use of children in industry or business. Introduction. According to UNICEF, roughly 160 million children were subjected to child labor at the beginning of 2020, with 9 million additional children at risk due to the impact of COVID-19. Child labor itself can be defined as the use of children in industry or businesses. Why is child labor a problem? Many children around the world work in hazardous conditions 
in agriculture, mining, domestic labor, and other sectors. For an instance, on tobacco farms, children work long hours in extreme heat, exposed to nicotine and toxic pesticides that can make them sick. Causes causes of child labor. There are some there are some causes that can make child children work such as poverty excesses to free education and is limited limited and conflict or mass migrations effects of child labor child labor must be stopped uh, child labor can be can give bad effects to the children like sickness or men malnutrition and they lose the chance to have a better future as they don't go to school and low self-esteem. Uh, child labor must be stopped. We can do some actions to help these children. We can help in sponsoring the education support companies that don't include child laborers and companies can use technology instead of children. Uh, child labor is one of the biggest issues in the world that need to overcome. However, it is not easy to tackle tackle this problem as many people live in poor condition and not able to afford their daily needs. Children have the right to get their education and good life as children. We must work together to reduce the problem of child labor and the young generation of the world could have a better life. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yumin, and today I'm going to talk about fuels and energy. SOI, how should communities fight against the rapid decline of fuels and energy? What are fuels and energy? Fuels are dense repositories of energy that are consumed to provide energy services such as heating, transportation, and electrical generation. Fossil fuels are used to produce energy. In the home, they are burned to produce heat. In large power stations, they are used to produce electricity and they are also used to power engines. Energy is the impetus behind all motion and all activity while fuels is substance consumed to provide energy through combustion or through chemical or nuclear reaction. Problems of fuels and energy. Fuels are used every day in our life. Transportation, cooking, heating the house, produce electricity, and more. As fossil fuels take millions of years to produce, it is not a renewable source. The speed and the use of fossil fuels by people are very fast, so it might be run off. If fossil fuels run off, we face many difficulties in our life. We won't be able to use electricity, and the prices of fossil fuels will increase, which makes it hard for people to buy it and use it. Fossil fuels cause global warming pollution. The vapors given off when gasoline evaporates and the substances produced when gasoline is burned, carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides, particularly matter and unburned hydrocarbons, contribute to air pollution. As shown in this graph, the fossil fuels are decreasing every year. In the future, people will face difficulties for electricity and oil. How should communities fight against the rapid decline of fossil fuels and energy? In order to prevent an energy crisis, it is also crucial that we consume less energy by improving and modernizing energy infrastructure, such as smart grid solutions and smart cities. It is also important that we replace all devices by energy efficient solutions, such as replacing traditional light bulbs by LEDs. Renewable energy sources like solar cell, wind turbine, and hydroelectric can help rather than using fossil fuels. They create electricity and it is renewable, so it reduces the use of fossil fuels. Communities can improve this rapid decline of fossil fuels just by saving electricity and oil in our daily life easily, such as turning off lights, computers, televisions, video games, and other electrical equipment that when you're not using them. Buying equipment that use less electricity, including light air conditioners, limiting the use of air conditioning. Thank you for listening.